my favorite artists. Today we're going to look at the artwork of Keith Haring. We're also going to use your Sharpies today. Remember, Sharpies only for drawing on paper. That's it. Um, we're going to start with pencil, though. I wanted to just point out that Keith Haring does these really cool cartoon-like drawings that have people, cartoon people, all over them. Screens and robots and kind of like parachuters and lots of fun designs. So we're going to start with a cartoon person doing something weird. So um, a lot of movement with the drawings and the lines. You can represent movement in a drawing. I'll show you how. So Keith Haring, this is what he looks like in real life. He was an American artist. He is considered a pop artist because he drew popular fun things. And he grew up in Pennsylvania, but he moved to New York City to do street art, meaning that he did a lot of murals on the outside of buildings, in subway stations, stuff like that. So when I say start with a pencil, the first thing you're going to do is think about how to draw a stick figure doing an interesting movement. You can just barely see on here a very light stick figure of a person doing a fun movement. This one's kind of like jumping into water. That's how I drew the stick figure. You want to draw that lightly with your pencil because you're going to erase it later. So after you get your stick figure drawn, do that now. Or think about like what position do you want your stick figure to be in. After you draw that, you're going to take your Sharpie and do a bubble outline. And what I mean by that, you're not drawing on your pencil lines. For the head, yes, watch. I'm going to draw on the pencil line for the head, but then next to the line for the neck next to the lines for the arms, all the way around for the hand, next to the line for the body and the legs. I'll show you up close what I mean. So you're doing a bubble outline And let me show you up close. So there are pencil lines in the middle that I originally did. I drew on the line for the head, but next to the line for the neck, next to the line for the arm, or mitten hand, next to the line for the body, next to the line for the legs. It's like a separate bubble outline I call it because it's not on the pencil line. I did do on the pencil line for the head. I did not do on the pencil line for the rest of the body. So now that I have that done, I'm going to do Sharpie for what's around my person, under my person, waves of the pool. I'm going to show that the person's moving by doing these cart tune movement lines, kind of thick. I'm going to show that the feet are moving by doing cartoon movement lines here. Now, before I forget, I'm going to take my emoji eraser and I'm going to get rid of all pencil lines. The ones in the middle, the ones that are peeking out under the head a little bit, the ones that I did for the lines of the pool. And then I'm going to think about how the different things that Keith Haring did for what I could do in my background. Maybe I want to do a sun with lines around it. Hard to see for you. So let me do it in Sharpie. You don't have to do a sun. I'm doing a glowing sun, okay? I could also do a cartoon cloud, some fluffy lines. I could also do some cartoon splash marks. 
coming out of the water. You do not have to do a Keith Haring person jumping into water. That's just one idea. You could look at Keith Haring's artwork in the slideshow and up here in this video and think about where is your stick figure that you turn into a bubble shape person like he does. Where is that person? You decide. Then you're going to take your crayons and color it in. Try not to go over your Sharpie so, so much so that you can't see it anymore. Just use it as the outline so you still can see it. Okay, bye.